a vast e YouTube viewers. This is Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a special sort of underwater type video for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now, there are only certain ways you can acquire the elite plans for the Jackdaw upgrades. And that's to go swim underwater with the fishes and the sharks and try and get those plans, which forces you to explore all the underwater areas, which I ended up doing. And in this case, we are going to the Black Trench. And one of the things I really did not like about the underwater exploration is, A, Kenway didn't get a knife which would help against those uh, eels and sharks. And he has to sail up to the sunken ship and officially dock and lower the diving bell. Let's get on with this mission. He's off the wind. Once you leave the diving bell, you have to swim somewhere, and with this, I pretty much have explored and captured the chests and the animus fragments, and I'm now just going to mop up this area, but you got to avoid sharks and moray eels, and you can get stung by urchins and jellyfish and all the other fun stuff. Like I said, uh, they could have given Kenway a knife, at least, and he could have fought the sharks a whole lot better. Instead, yeah, he gets hit and attacked, and his attempts to get to breathing barrels and whatever are always fraught with danger. No knife. That's pretty stupid. So I want Kenway to get this one breathing barrel so that he can try and get to the chests at some point. And yeah, he's getting nipped by the sharks. He can breathe and heal. And he's going to end up maybe desynchronizing because the chest is right there and he has to dive deeper. Kenway is desynchronized, and now you gotta go start back at the bell. And that is not overly bad of a problem, except if you don't get anything and you use up an air barrel, well, now you got one less air barrel. And the good part is it does save often enough so that if you do end up with some progress, like, you open a chest or get an animus fragment, 
you're not going to have to do that again. But you don't get air barrels back. I'm going to bring it back around and try again to lower the diving bell and see if I can navigate things a little better here. And you do get an award for getting all the underwater exploration places done. And not a big deal. But once you get all the elite plans, you really have to start bulking up on gold and um, building materials like metal and wood and cloth because you're going to wind up uh, spending a lot in resources to get the elite upgrades. So let's see if I can get Kenway through this and the rest of this underwater exploration without getting eaten by sharks again. The good part is you can see that animus fragment right there in the background. It should be easy to get to as long as Kenway doesn't get in, get eaten by sharks. He should be able to get the animus fragment and hopefully make a clean getaway to the um, diving bell. And so that is his main goal. Maybe stop at one of these two air barrels, probably this one, and get a breath of fresh air before getting toward the diving bell. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because this will be kind of long. As you can see, Kenway made it to the diving bell uh, safely. Now raise it up to the ship and do some battles to get some goods. I'm going to then cut to the final underwater exploration mission, and then Kenway gets the uh, award for completing all of them. This is the final underwater destination, and it is the Sang Ignatio Wreck, and to be honest with you, yeah, it's not that easy. And it's again, you have to kind of get the ship up to the wreck 
to dock and then lowered the diving bell, which kind of, eh, makes it a pain in the ass. Notice how the diving bell makes that ringing sound when uh, it hits the water. This looks like it can be relatively easy. Uh, there's some sandbars you can swim around and uh, avoid the sharks, but there are some other things here that can be problematic. I'm going to go for this backward chest and see if Kenway can get it and then. Get back to the diving bell for a fresh breath of air and go after what is left over. Again, a knife would have been real handy. Even his wrist blades would have been really handy to at least fend off some of the sharks. Now, I'm going to have to be delicate to get this Animus Fragment because Kenway is badly beat up. There is a air barrel nearby somewhere where he can grab some air and refresh and heal up a little bit. I'm going to try and get him there, uh, sneak into the kelp here, and, yeah, interact with the air barrel. Ah, damn it. He desynchronized. Ah, oh, crap. Like I said, a knife would have been really, really happy. Now, you'll see once it um, comes back to the diving bell, anything you did, like find chests or get animus fragments before, you can now keep and it saves automatically once you get that achievement. I'm just going to get these last two chests and hopefully get Kenway out of here and get the award for exploring all the underwater areas.
Abstergo challenge completed. Loot all underwater chests. You know what that means? When your character who is playing Kenway pops back into the reality of the office life. Oh, he's going to get a little statue on his shelf. Yippee skippy, right? Yeah, okay, they got to do a few minor things with the games in order to give you a little bit of a bonus in the fact that, okay, I just explored all the underwater locations. Give me 10,000 reals or something. But I digress. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment. If you like the types of videos I am doing, well, hit that subscribe button and then the bell icon so you won't miss out. I post four videos a week so far, and I've been doing it steady since the start of the year, and I'm actually enjoying this. As always, thanks for stopping. Bye.